Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody just emailed me a few minutes ago wanting to know what the difference in the numbers in the lens effect, and I'm going to show you. So I did some examples before. This is smaller, bigger, and big dots. It's the same lens effect, and I was just kind of playing around with it. It'd be neat to mark your work. It'd be a pretty neat logo. Uh, you could do different things with it. But I just made a row of dots. I'm going to take a circle and put it in the middle. Then I'm going to go up to effects, lens. And this is what he was talking about. I think the default is 100 rate. And a lot of times it won't show up, so you got to go no lens effect. And then go down to fish eye, and it'll bring that up. And then you're going to freeze it and hit apply and then move it away. So there's one aspect that's on a hundred. Let's just play around with this. Let's change this to 350. And you can see it's not working. So there it worked frozen apply. And there's the difference. Now in both these, you would need to take away my red hairline and, uh, I draw everything in a red hairline. But that's what those numbers mean. I mean, you can go down to very, very little. Let's go down to 25, frozen, and it changes it just a little bit. It doesn't fish it. I didn't hit apply. It doesn't change it all. It doesn't change it all that much. You can see it just changes it just a little bit. And I kind of learned something tonight playing with this. I've always used circles. Uh, you could use a rectangle. And let's go with 200, frozen, apply. And it doesn't have to be a circle. I keep drawing another box. I apologize. But there's, I must not have hit apply, frozen apply and move that away so it doesn't always have to be a circle and take my red hairline away gives a little bit different effect hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching